three, testing. Testing, one, two, three. Test, one, two, three, four, check. Check, check.
Welcome and hello to the Sauk Valley Board of Trustees, administration, faculty, and staff, and to all of our well-deserving candidates present and those that could not be here with us today. Welcome and Along with your proud families and friends who are present and those of you that are watching virtually to our annual Health Professions Pinning and Graduation. We are very proud of the class of 2021. Nursing and radiology are hard programs to complete during normal times. And three out of your four semesters took place during a pandemic. Never knowing until the last minute how or if the class was going to be delivered, if the clinical sites would let you in, if you would get it, or be quarantined, and then worry about how and when you were going to be able to make up that lost time. Flexibility is often a word used in the health professions, and I believe you have that down. We are very proud of you. How you hung in there during this turbulent time, demonstrating your determination and just how tough you are. Wear your pins with pride. You earned them. Boy, did you earn them. To begin this celebration, I would like to introduce the Sauk Valley Community College President, Dr. Dave Helmick, who would like to extend his welcome. Good afternoon. Graduates, family and friends of our graduates, and Sauk colleagues, welcome to this year's pinning ceremony, one of the most time-honored events at colleges and universities across the country, including at Sauk Valley Community College. And as Dean Vincent referenced, this is an historic day. The class of 2021 is the first class in the history of the college, the first class in the history of the country, during which much, if not all, of your studies occurred during a pandemic. And we have learned so much about ourselves and about health care and about the country during the pandemic. One thing that we have learned is we need you. Uh, our health care facilities need you. Our communities need you. Our country needs you. We need you now, and we need you to have long, fruitful careers as health care professionals. You, our wonderful graduates, have the very real responsibility of helping us and our loved ones when we are the most vulnerable, the most scared, the most confused, and the most sick. We at South Valley Community College take great pride that our wonderful graduates have the health care expertise to do their jobs well, very well, to take care of us and our loved ones. We at Sauk Valley Community College take great pride that our wonderful graduates have the compassion to do their jobs well, very well, to take care of us and our loved ones. Now is about you, graduates. Today is about you. And after this pinning ceremony and then the commencement, you are to be totally pampered. You may not go home and cook, you may not go home and do chores of any sort, you may not take care of anyone or anything. Whatever you want, you get today and tonight. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, get over it. And go back to being the caring and committed healthcare professional you are and make yourself in the college proud. Congratulations. And now it's time for the presentation of the candidates.
able to have someone pin me today, I would pick my mom, Amber Allen, and my fiance, Kenan Ross. Krista Buckley. If I were to be pinned today, I would be pinned by my fiance, Mark Schoen. Aubrey Bush. I would have my parents pin me. Amy Bushman. I would have had my sons, Tristan and Griffin, pin me. Amara Campos. I would have had my parents pin me. Melissa Carroll. I would have had my husband, Sean Appleman, pin me. Cassidy Clark. I would have had my husband, Tim Clark, pin me. Mariah Clover. I would have had my husband, Austin, and my son, Dawson, pin me. Shelly Crownheart. I would have my husband and my daughters to me. Carl Heinz Druckley. I would be pinned by my best friend, Brittany Burge. Heather Farrington. I would have asked my mom and dad to pin me. Brianna Fredrickson. I would have had my parents pin me. Tyler Fuller. I would have had my kids, Kalia and Dawson, pin me. Patricia Garcia. I would have had my daughter Brooke Garcia pin me. Kayleen Gibbs. I would have had my boyfriend Nick pin me and my son Carson. Julia Gomez. I would have had my mom and my dad pin me. Jennifer Jacobs. I would have had my son, Andrew Jacobs, pin me. Catherine Moritz. I would have had my brother, Luke, pin me. Michaela Murphy. Michaela, I'm sorry, Michaela Murphy. I would have had my mom and my dad pin me. Nicolosa Padilla. I would have had my mom and my daughter pin me. Shannon Fairling. I would have had Dr. Edward Mellian pin me today. Kanan Ross. I would have my parents, Zach and Julie Ross, as well as my wonderful fiance, who I went to a nursing school with, Aaron Allen. Cassandra Sandoval. I would have had my mom pin me and my fiance, Francisco, pin me. Kayla Seville. I would have had my grandmother, Deidre Norman, pin me. Sarah Staples. I would have had my parents pin me. 
and to my sister pin me. Dominique Stout. I would have had my husband and four boys pin me today. Alexis Stamps. I would have had my mom, dad, and my son Ben pin me. Susan Wagner. I would have had my daughter Kaya pin me today. Mackenzie Wolf. I would have my fiance Dylan pin me. Sherry Wooden. I would have had my mother Julia Travis pin me. Sydney Young. I get to have my stepmom pin me and I would also have my mom pin me. That's your stepmom. Okay. Baron Bakuri. This is radiology, I'm sorry. No, you're all right. I would have my mom and dad pin me today. Claire Kaufman. I would have had my mom pin me. Lindsay Castillo. I would have had my mom pin me. Brittany Davis. I would have had my fiance Ryan and my daughter Raya Turgeon pin me. Jaden Grunder. I would have had my dad Josh Grunder pin me today. Contessa Harrison. I would have had my parents and my husband pin me. Stephanie Colonis. I would have had my fiance and my children pin me. Naomi Mortel. And my mother-in-law Linda is going to pin me today. Ashley Olson. I would have had my daughters Malia and Maisie pin me. I would have had my son Gavin and my daughter Kaylee pin me today. Alexis Schmidt. I would have had my grandma Tony Wait pin me. Alexis Schoff. I would have had my mom pin me today. Kylie Shannon. I would have had my parents, John and Christina, pin me today. Bethany Shearer. I would have had my parents, George and Karen, pin me today. Alyssa Sigwards. I would have had my parents pin me today. Cora Smith. I also would have had my parents pin me today. Janelle Schwartz. I would have had my mom pin me today.
Sydney Sweeney. I would have had my parents pin me. Vanessa Williamson. I would have had my daughter Adeline pin me. Next we have the LPN class. Elizabeth Munson. I would have had my daughter and my girlfriend pin me. Latasha Campos. I would have had my four children pin me today. Stephanie Drought. I would have had my mom pin me today. Kelly Ingle. I would have had my mom and my grandma pin me today. Emily Fisher. I would have had my dad and my grandma pin me today. Kelly Mercy. I would have asked my husband Roy and our four children to pin me. Jamea Marino. I would have had my mom pin me today. Fabiola Murillo. Uh, I would have had my sister and husband pin me today. Catherine Noble. I would have had I would have had my parents pin me today. Amanda Pentecost. I would have had my great uncle Bill pin me today. <laughs> Natasha Ruffin. I would have had my parents pin me. <laughs> Jamie Starnes. I would have had my boyfriend Terry pin me today. Now we'll have a solo by Rich Chris. And when the moments pass slow Each one leaves you where you want to go With your face, with the choice that you have to choose If you choose the one that means the most to you And if one door opens to another door Please I hope you keep on walking Till you find the window If it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile And more than anything And you never regret And you have 
somebody every chance you can. Oh, you may find God's grace in every mistake. Always give more than you take. More than anything. And more than anything. I wish for you. Is that this life becomes all that you want it to your dreams may be? The worries they stop. Never need to carry more than you can hold. Next, we have special awards. What the special awards are is each of the groups, the RN, LPN, and radiology, have voted on a special student within their cohort that um, show extra special um, characters. Um, I've got first the LPN class. Here's what the LPN class said about their choice for the leadership award. Is a leader, team player, hardworking, and willing to help everyone. Kind and gentle, all the qualities of an excellent nurse, and will be an awesome nurse. The LPN Recognition Award goes to Fabiola Murillo. I wasn't expecting this at all, <laughs> but um, I'd like to thank my class, um, all you guys, and, yeah. She just got hugs from all of us up here, too. Hug, hug. Here's what the ADN class had to say about their choice for leadership award. Very encouraging and keeps the whole class positive. Provides good leadership by going out of the way to help each other. Positive attitude with peers and instructors. Professional, motivated, and an eagerness to learn. The ADN recognition goes to Heather Farrington.
thank you very much. Some of you know, but if you didn't know, when you're nice, it makes you happy. Thank you. Again, hugs. Diana Brevet will um, go for the award for the radiology. The radiology class had these comments about the classmate they chose for the award. Always friendly and enthusiastic, professional, has positive energy. She has taken many leadership roles in the past two years, and one day I hope I can be as wonderful as her, someone wrote. The recognition award goes to Vanessa Williamson. Thank you. You guys stop voting me for stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's really humbling being voted by your classmates for something like this. And um, I just hope that I made an impression on all of you and that you realize that one kind word can change your day, one positive thought can change your day, and our jobs as healthcare professionals is to spread that around like sparkle and glitter. So keep that in mind as you go out and we start our careers, okay? Final remarks are by John Mandrell. I have to say that regardless of any limitations, this is by far and away the best event of the year. It just does not get any better than this in seeing this joy. Uh, graduates, today marks a great milestone in your academic journey and career. Take in every moment, look around you, savor this moment. You envisioned this since the day you committed to this. It has been a long, hard road. It hasn't been easy, but that's part of the great academic journey. We're so very proud of you today, as we know of the many more lives that you will impact in our community and beyond, particularly in this age we're living in. Don't forget, though, in your next exciting chapter, remember to pay it forward to a student that is embarking on the journey that you're celebrating tonight. Be not only great practitioners in the field, but also mentors. And don't forget about us here at Sauk Valley Community College. We care about each and every one of your successes, and we expect to hear from you and see you. Today is only the beginning of another chapter with us. The Sock family is always here, and quite often I have to say one of the most exciting parts of my job is that many of you even come back to teach and transform yet other lives in your field. At this time, I'd like to thank the many health professions faculty, staff, and administration that have challenged you along this great journey. You, have also, you, you also have changed our lives as much as we have been a part of shaping yours. I also must thank the many great health care providers in our community that open their doors to our students, particularly in this challenging time, so that they can gain experience in clinical settings and join us in the growth of the workforce and training our students to provide the very best, pati very best patients and service to the community. Go forth and be proud of all you have accomplished. We look forward to hearing from your many successes and the lives you will also change in your next exciting chapter. You're all sock heroes to us. We cannot wait to hear about your next chapter. Thank you very much. One last announcement as we transition to the commencement, if we could allow our graduates to exit, and then also, if you are not staying for the commencement, uh, please exit through these doors after the students exit as well. Thank you.